praise. Hallelujah. Jesus deserves mm. all praises. Mm. Yes. Amen. So Jesus deserves all praise. Jesus hat alle Segen verdient. Jesus deserves all worship. Er verdient alle Lobgesänge. When we have the opportunity to worship him, it's a privilege. Amen. Wenn wir die Möglichkeit haben, ihn zu ehren, ist das ein Privileg für uns. That's the only thing that we can offer him that money cannot buy. Das ist die einzige Sache, die wir hier geben können. Was Geld nicht geben kann. He is the reason why we wake up every morning. The Bible says that He is the one that holds everything together. Without Jesus, nothing will be that exists. Ohne Jesus wird nicht sein, was existiert. The Bible says that nothing was made without Him. Die Bibel sagt, dass nichts ohne ihn gemacht wurde. And so this morning. Our gathering is not unto man, but unto Jesus. The Bible is all about Jesus from the Old Testament to the New Testament. The Bible is about Jesus. The Bible is about Jesus. From the Old to the New Testament. And in the past times that I was privileged to preach, I talked about grace. Und die letzten Male, als ich das Privileg hatte zu predigen, habe ich über Grace. Gnade. 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 How many of you can remember the topics that I talked about from the beginning when I started talking about grace? Because I had like different sections. Who can remember the first topic? Wir können das erste Thema. I remember Christ like the Lord. That's the first one. That's good. Since you said that one, you can answer the next one. Also. So, after grace like the blood, I talked about something else. Also rhymes with blood. But, you know, who can tell me? Grace like the blood. Grace like blood. First of all, grace as for blood and grace as like blood. And I mentioned, when you think about grace, think about blood. Because grace costs somebody something. Jesus had to plead so that God could be gracious to you. Because God is not only gracious, God is just. He has to punish sin, otherwise he is not just. But because of his grace, he decided to punish himself so he can show you grace. So he was still just, but also gracious. Er war immer noch gerecht, aber auch gnädig. And today I will talking about grace again. Ich werde über Gnade sprechen heute. But I'm talking about grace as the word. Amen. Or grace as a person. Oder Gnade als eine Person. Because they are both synonymous and the same. Das ist ein Synonym und fast dasselbe. The word is the person. That person is the word. The word, I am not just talking about the spoken word, I'm talking about the living word. Behind the written word, there is a living word. If you do not know the living word, you will misinterpret the written word. The devil knows the written word. But he doesn't know the living word. He does not have a relationship with the living word. 
How do I know that? You guys are just. He was quoting the Bible to tempt Jesus with it. Er hat die Bibel benutzt, um Jesus damit zu versuchen zu legen. In the wilderness, the devil quoted the Bible to tempt Jesus with it. In der Wüste yeah. hat der Teufel die Bibel benutzt, um Jesus in Versuchung zu bringen. How can you use the written word against the living word? Wie kannst du das geschriebene Wort gegen das lebendige Wort benutzen? He is the essence behind the Bible. That's the essence of right. the Bible. There are people who will use this Bible to do bad things. <laughs> and we say the Bible says this. <laughs> Sometimes they're not even quoting the Bible. They're quoting what they are used to hearing. Because they think that that is what the Bible says. If you don't know the person of Jesus, you can misinterpret. That's right. Mm -hmm. Slavery in the US was founded on what they thought the Bible says. Yeah. They used the Bible to back up their wickedness. Sie haben die Bibel genutzt, um ihre Schwäche zu anzugeben. The Pharisees knew the scripture but did not know the word. Die Pharaonen wussten nicht, was dahinter steckt. The Pharisees. Die Pharisäer kannten die Bibel, aber wussten nicht, was dahinter steckt. So when they saw the living word in person, they couldn't understand it. That's right. Als sie das lebendige Wort sahen, konnten sie nicht verstehen. They were looking for ways to trick him, so he can break the written word. Not knowing that he is the living word. They were saying, Moses said this, what do you say? Who do you think told Moses what to say? The Bible says, he says, before Abraham, I am. Amen. You are saying, Moses said this. Du sagst, Moses hat das gesagt. Did Moses say what he said on his own? Denkst du, dass Moses alles, was er gesagt hat, von alleine gesagt hat? Moses told God, I cannot speak. Moses hat Gott gesagt, ich kann nicht sprechen. When God called him, he said, I am a stammerer, I cannot speak. Und Gott hat gesagt, ich verstehe das, was ich nicht spreche. Gott hat ihn gerufen, er sagte, er kann nicht sprechen. He said, I stammer, I stutter, I cannot speak. Ich kann nicht richtig sprechen, ich stotter. Now, the Pharisees are quoting Moses to Jesus. Die Pharisäer zitieren Moses zu Jesus. The one that made Moses able to speak. That's right. To make him able to Moses geholfen hat zu sprechen. You see the difference between knowing the Bible and not knowing Jesus. That's right. Es gibt Unterschiede zwischen der Bibel und Jesus. You can be a Christian for 30 years and not know Jesus. That's right. Als Christ zu sein für 30 Jahre und Jesus nicht kennen. You have in your resume, in your living life, 30 years experience as Christianity. Als ein Lebenslauf, 30 Jahre Christentum schreiben. But the person that came yesterday has overtaken you. But the person who came yesterday has already overtaken you. Because your 30 years was 30 years of normal, lukewarm Christianity. That's right. 30 years of what you have lost. You are bragging about how many years you have been in the faith. And you give some examples of how long you have been in the faith. What is the fruit of your faith? That's right. What is the fruit of your faith? Why do you have to brag? Why can't your fruits speak for you? Absolutely. When we read about the Pharisee, nobody thinks, oh, that is me. We always think that we are the other people that are humble, and nobody thinks, no, I am a Pharisee. Niemand denkt, ich bin Pharisäer. When we talk about David and Goliath, 
Everybody thinks in their mind I am dead. <laughs> Nobody thinks I am the, the people of Israel are afraid. <laughs> because human beings will have to see ourselves in the best light. Absolutely. If I tell you a story now about the wicked and the good, you will automatically want to be part of the good. <laughs> In the story, you always look for the good part to attach yourself to. That's right. What if in the story you are the bad part? That's right. Mm. Oh, it's to learn and draw. Mm. We talk about the Israelites, how stubborn they were in the wilderness. We talk about Joshua and Caleb. Automatically, you think you are Joshua and Caleb. <laughs> nobody thinks, no, I am the rest that we are afraid or complain. No, nobody thinks that way. That is human mentality. We like to picture ourselves in the best light. That's right. But if you were in your best light, you wouldn't have needed Jesus. Wenn dein besten Licht wärst, würdest du Jesus nicht kennen. Broken. That's right. Today we'll talk about grace as a person. Wir werden über Gnade als eine Person reden. We're going to go to the book of John. Wir werden zu Johannes. John chapter 1. Johannes 1. The reason why I like John is because uh, he does not introduce Jesus the way other disciples introduce him. In case you don't know, John was also the one who wrote the book of Revelation. Yes. Johannes war der, der hat. John is the one that is convinced about the love of Jesus for him. Johannes is überzeugt von der Liebe Gottes. He calls himself the one that Jesus loves. And then Christ, der, der von Gott geliebt wird. Is there anyone that Jesus hates? Gibt es jemanden, den Jesus hasst? But it's not John's business. It's your business if you know that he loves you. He says, I am the one that Jesus loves. People say God loves the world. Do you know as a person that you are the one? That Jesus loves. That's right. of Jesus is lived. That is why he had a different revelation of Jesus than every other person. That's right. When everybody was trying to do, 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 to prove, John would always be relaxing on Jesus' chest. While they are trying to impress Jesus, John wasn't moving. <laughs> It's like Mary and Martha. Martha is just busy working and Mary is just chilling, just listening to Jesus. That's right. Maria and Martha. And John, the same person, he was the only one that was at the cross when Christ was dying. Absolutely. Johannes war der einzige beim Kreuz, als Jesus gestorben ist. When everybody that was bragging, I will be there, I will be there, she all disappeared. Jeder hat gesagt, ich werde da sein, aber niemand war da. Only the one that was convinced about the love that Jesus had was there at the point of death. And among all the disciples, John was the hardest to kill. Yes. Yes. The rest, they had it dragged, died. John, you couldn't kill John. They put John in hot oil and John turned into coconut oil. Amen. John was so convinced of the love of God for him that people couldn't kill him. They got tired, they threw him on an island. That's right. And even on that island, Jesus showed up. Yes. That's right. And that was where John wrote the book of Revelation. Other disciples, when they want to introduce Jesus, 
say, ah, now this person gave birth to this person, this person gave birth to this person, and this person gave birth to Jesus. That's right. Jeder andere würde sagen, dass es diese Person die in Jesus geboren hat. They talk about the history, the physical history. That's right. Sie reden über die physikalische Geschichte. John was like, let's forget that thing. Let's go to the mystery. That's right. Wir haben auch noch die Sache bei Leiter gelegt. Nothing concerned me with the one that gave birth to this person. Because Christ is not even just a human being. He's both human and God. That's right. Er ist kein normaler Mensch. Er ist Mensch und Gott. And look at how John starts. Und wie hat Johannes angefangen? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Wait. <laughs> what is this? This you people see as if you understand what he's saying, but if you read this to a normal human being, this makes no sense. Absolutely. Sometimes we are so used to being Christian that we don't know that some of the things that we say they don't make any sense. That's right. We understand that these things don't make sense. In the beginning was the Word, <laughs> and the Word was with God. It was God by God. How can the Word be with God? We know that we only speak a word. How can a word be with God? And the word was God. Und das Wort war Gott. And I see if this is not confusing enough. Und wenn das nicht verwirrend genug ist, he continues. Er geht ja weiter. He was wait wait. He he was with God. Er war mit Gott. He just said the word, and now he said he. Er hat gesagt das Wort, aber jetzt sagt er er. He just personified the word. That's right. Das Wort personifiziert. You call word he. You then say what? Yeah. Now we know you're not just referring to normal spoken word. Absolutely. Also, referenziert er nicht an den normalen gesprochenen Wort. The word is a person. Das Wort ist eine Person. That's right. And John refers to him as he. That's right. Er referenziert ihn als er. He was with God in the beginning. Er war mit Gott im Anfang. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. Nichts wurde benannt, was gemacht wurde. In him was life, and the life was the light of mankind. You can read that in German if you have the translation, or you guys can follow in the translations. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. That's right. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. That's right. Yet all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Bible says He made His dwelling among us. Yes. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. In Jesus, there is a balance of grace. And true, right. he didn't just come as just true. He came as grace. Und in Jesus gibt es die ausbalancierte Version von Wahrheit und von Gnade. That's correct. There is truth and grace. Da ist Wahrheit Jesus. und Gnade in Jesus. That's right. Grace as a person. Gnade als eine Person. How many of you understood this introduction that Paul gave? 
Wie viele von euch haben ihn ganz verstanden? First of all, he called the word. Erstens hat er das Wort genannt. And then he called him light. Und dann hat er ihn Licht genannt. And then he said he came to his own. Und dann hat er gesagt, dass er selber gekommen ist. From word. Von Wort. To flesh. Zum Fleisch. At the beginning it was word. Am Anfang war er Wort. In the New Testament it became flesh. Im Neuen Testament ist er in Fleisch. But he's also light. Aber er ist auch Licht. And he's God. Und er ist Gott. And nothing was made without him. Und nichts wurde ohne ihn gemacht. This mystery you can try to understand this mystery until Christ comes. Du kannst die ganze Serie verstehen, bis Christus kommt. You will only understand the bit after the bit after the bit. Du kannst nur ein bisschen verstanden. Because even John is trying to explain something that he himself doesn't understand. He was speaking as he was led by the Holy Spirit. That's right. Not because he understood what he was writing. That's true. Because this does not make normal sense. There is a mystery behind grace. Absolutely. And grace has always been in the beginning. God did not start to be gracious only in the New Testament. God war nicht gnädig nur im Neuen Testament. Because Jesus has always existed. Jesus hat immer existiert. Now if Jesus has always existed, then God has always been gracious. Wenn Jesus immer existiert hat, dann war Gott auch immer gnädig. The Bible says that he was filled with grace and truth. Er war gefüllt mit Gnade und Wahrheit. So when he spoke the truth, he always mixed it with grace. That's right. Also wenn er die Wahrheit spricht, ist es gnädig. I'm going to say it again. When he spoke the, the truth, he always mixed it with grace. That's right. Also die Wahrheit gesprochen hat, hat er es vermischt mit Gnade. Wahrheit. Some of us will say, oh no, I want to just speak my mind. I'm just telling the truth. I want to just tell the truth. <laughs> you use that as an excuse to be mean and rude. You say, oh no, I'm just telling the truth. I'm telling you my mind. <laughs> and exactly that's what my comfort is. The truth without grace is not of God. The truth without grace is not of God. The truth without grace is not of God. The truth without grace is an accusation. You are accusing somebody, and your goal is to make them feel bad about what you're telling them. That is, you should let them stand. But in your mind, you're still just telling the truth. But you say you say the truth. Because you don't know how to mix truth with grace. Because you don't know how to mix truth with grace. The Bible says, "Say the truth in love." Say the truth in love. So before you tell somebody your truth. Ask yourself, do you love the person? If not, keep your mouth shut. Because your truth is only going to hurt the person, not to encourage the person. We are very fast to say, I won't tell you the truth. Especially if it's somebody that we don't like. You will tell the person the truth from your mind. And you are happy because you have said your mind. But whatever truth you just spoke, there is no difference between your truth and the devil's truth. Because the devil uses the truth about you to attack you, to accuse you. But the Bible calls him a liar. So truth without love or grace is a lie. He was filled with grace and truth. To the Pharisees, he attacked them with truth. Because they were proud. I'm going to say this again. To the Pharisees, they attacked them with truth because they were proud. 
weil sie stolz waren. But he only gives grace to the to the humble. So if you come to God with pride, also wenn du zu Gott mit God will show you truth. Wird es die Wahrheit sein. That's right. Without grace. That's right. But when you come to God with humility, that's right. Aber wenn du mit ihm zu ihm kommst mit dem, He will show you grace and truth mixed together. That's right. Mit Wahrheit zeigen. Mit Wahrheit. The woman that was caught in the act of adultery. That's right. The woman that was caught in the act of adultery. She was caught and she was sleeping with somebody that was not her husband. They were about to stone her. And they said, hey, we caught her in the act. Moses said we should stone her. What do you say? Und wir haben sie beim Kämpfen erwischt. Er muss sagen, sie zu steinigen. Was sagst du? They came before Christ with pride, using Moses as the backup. Und sie sind mit Stolz gekommen, mit Moses hinter ihm. And Jesus took away grace and showed them truth. Und er hat Gnade genommen und die Wahrheit gezeigt. Any of you without sin, please cast the first stone. That's right. Und der ohne Sünde soll den ersten Stein werfen. Nobody can stand before truth. Niemand kann vor der Wahrheit stehen. Nobody is innocent before truth. That's right. Niemand ist unschuldig vor der Wahrheit. Did the woman sin? Yes, she did. Absolutely. Die Frau hat gesündigt. What they said was correct. Was sie sagen ist richtig. Where is the man, and why is it only the woman that is there? Absolutely. Wie kann es sein, dass nur die Frau aber da ist? Was the woman committed by herself? Hat die Frau das alleine gemacht? Secondly, who made them the judge over the woman? Right. Wer gibt ihnen das Recht über die Frau zu? So truth is way more complicated than you think. That's right. Wahrheit ist komplizierter als man denkt. Truth is not half baked. Truth is an all-rounder fool. Wahrheit ist nicht nur eine halbe Sache, sondern alles. Once you break one, you have broken all. That's right. Sprichst, sprichst du alles. Correct. Jesus came to the woman. Jesus ist zu der Frau gegangen. He didn't tell the woman, no, you did not sin. Er hat zu der Frau nicht gesagt, nein, du hast nicht gesündigt. Otherwise, it would not be true. Absolutely. Das wäre nicht die Wahrheit. He told the woman. Er hat der Frau gesagt. I do not condemn you. Absolutely. Ich I do not condemn you. I do not punish you. Ich bestrafe dich nicht. Go and sin no more. Geh und sündige nicht mehr. Grace and truth mix together. That's genau right. Gnade und Wahrheit zusammen. For you, for 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 him to say go and sin no more, it means that you are just sinning. That's right. Das heißt, dass wir sündigen können, wenn sie sagt, dass sie nicht mehr sündigen soll. So there is truth in His grace. That's right. Wahrheit in seiner Gnade. He does not attack you with truth. Er greift nicht mit Wahrheit. Correct. That's right. He strengthens you with truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But only the truth that is mixed with grace can set you free. Because just normal truth will make you feel condemned. And when you feel condemned, you have no power to live for God. You just hold back to your vomit and keep doing it again and again. That's right. When Christ told the woman, go and sin no more. Think about this. Think about it. This is the same word that made the heaven and the earth. That's the same word that made the earth and the earth. So he wasn't was just commanding the lady to not sin. Er hat die Frau nicht nur gefordert, nicht mehr zu sündigen. He was strengthening the lady to not sin. Er hat die Frau gestärkt, nicht mehr zu sündigen. Because when God speaks, His word must come to pass. And so when He speaks, power accompanies His word. Absolut. Wenn er spricht, ist es die Kraft, die seine Worte unterstützen. God never tells you to do something that He does not empower you to do. Absolut. Er sagt dir niemals etwas, was... So when He says, go and sin no more, He was also releasing power. Und als er sagte, geh und sündige nicht mehr, hat er dir auch Kraft gegeben. 
But the wise. And as I said, that woman cannot obey that command without help. Who can go and sit no more? No. Something must have been released. That's correct. Grace was released. Absolutely. Grace is not just unmerited favor. Gnade ist nicht nur Favorisierung. Grace is also power. Gnade ist auch Kraft. God told Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. That's right. My grace is enough for you. Meine Gnade ist genug für dich. My power is made known in your weakness. Meine Kraft ist in deinem Wohlgemein. So grace is also power. Gnade ist auch Kraft. That's right. Jesus was filled with power and truth. Jesus wurde mit Kraft, Gnade und Wahrheit. And when he walked, he walked in grace. Und als er gelaufen ist, ist er mit Gnade gelaufen. But also walked in truth. Aber auch in der Wahrheit. When he was walking on the ocean, als er auf dem Meer ging, he was walking on grace and truth. Ist er auf Gnade gelaufen. Nobody can just walk on water without sinking. That's right. That is fact. That's a fact. But there is a truth that is bigger and stronger than fact. That's right. And Jesus was walking on grace and truth as he walked on the ocean. And Peter said, Can I come to you? And he said, Come. When he released the word, als er das Wort sagte, the word became foundation for Peter to walk on. That's right. Wurde das zu einem von der Fundation, damit er auch laufen kann. Because Jesus supersedes every natural or unnatural thing. That's right. Weil er alles Naturale und Unnaturale bekämpft. He is the word full of grace. That's right. Er ist Gott voller Gnade und Wahrheit. Without Jesus, there is no grace. Without Jesus, there is no truth. Only That's right. Is in the, the Bible says that He is the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the earth. So even before Adam and Eve sinned, God already provided a sacrifice. That's right. Because nothing ever surprises God. Weil nichts Gott überrascht. God has always been gracious from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Er war immer gnädig vom Alten bis zum Neuen Testament. How do I know this? Wie weiß ich das? When God walked with Abraham, there was no law. Als er als er mit Abraham gearbeitet hat, gab es keine Regeln, keine Gesetze. When God walked with Abraham, there was no law. Es gab keine Gesetze, als er mit ihm gearbeitet hat. How come he is called the father of faith, or called righteous? Wie kann es sein, dass er der Vater des Glaubens oder der Gerechtigkeit genannt wird? God even walked with him on the basis of grace. Er ist auf der Basis von Gnade gelaufen. God blessed him for his name's sake. That's right. Und er hat ihn gesegnet für seinen Namen. God showed him unmerited favor for his name's sake. Er hat ihm God has always been gracious. God has always been gracious. And the reason for God's grace is a person. And for this grace, is a person to stand. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Amen. So when you think about grace from now on, when you think about grace from now on, think about a person. Think about a person. Jesus, the Word made flesh. Das Wort wurde Fleisch. Jesus, grace made flesh. Jesus, Gnade wurde Fleisch. And that will make you grateful for the person of Jesus. Das war noch nicht gegeben für die Person wie Jesus. Because as long as he lives, God is always gracious. Solange er lebt, wird Gott immer gnädig sein. It does not mean that God is not truthful. Das heißt nicht, dass er und nicht die Wahrheit sagt. He is always truthful. Er sagt immer die Wahrheit. But when he speaks truth, 
Aber wenn du die Wahrheit sagst, Grace accompanies the truth. Yes. Begleitet die Gnade. Amen. How many of you are grateful for Jesus? Wie viele von euch sind dankbar für Jesus? How many of you are grateful for the grace of God? You will not be here if not for Jesus. You will have no right to call God Father if not for Jesus. That's right, eh? You could not say that your sins have been forgiven if not for Jesus. And you will have no hope to enter heaven if not for Jesus. Christ the ox, the hope no, of the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus.